teams going away like A, a Force with Bet mm. Up Country, yes. and they said so and so a major, and that went with them, and, yes. and as all the others went up. Yes. But uh, we only worried about ourselves where we were going. So some went up by boat and came down, but mm. we went up by train. Yes. Mm. Now, there is a, a saying that there was a, the southern end of the laneway called they called the egg belt. It was a, an area where you were able to get eggs from the tyres. From the tyres. Yeah, mm. but if you're up around places like Concoita, mm. the chances of getting anything from the the local inhabitants were, would imagine, imagine very hard, and, very hard. Because yeah. they couldn't get it for themselves, especially yeah. in Burma. Yeah. Burma was. Well, where we were, anyhow, but, but it was very, very hard. But in, in uh, Bangkok and around there, you could get nearly anything. Mm. But, but up the line, sort of around you went north Tucker north Noon, north. Did, does the that name mean anything yeah. to Tucker Noon? Were yeah, you ever in there? Yeah. Uh, were there any kampongs up there for, with natives in them? No. Well, not, not, to any, not that I saw. To any degree. I'm not saying there wasn't yeah. any up there, but yeah. I never, yeah. I never seen any. Now, also going back to when you, you took your train journey into Burma, mm. what else, it wouldn't have run a train just for you, oh, no, what else was on it, were there troops oh, on it? No, 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 not troops, no, no not troops, no. it'd be our gears mm. for our uh, cooking and everything like that, yes, yes, yes. and then they'd have different other things on, on the back, which we didn't know what was there was rations was maybe for oh, the troops. Oh, could have been, yes, like we, we didn't know. We had two Japs in each of those trucks with us. Yes. And the, on, even on the open ones, we had we had a couple of Japs. They'd sit in the middle so they could look each way at us. Doesn't know whether they think we were going to jump off the train or that. <laughs> but, uh, no. And they, I think you said, were wood-burning. Uh, wood-burning, yes. Engines, and, engines, locomotives. Oh, yes, yeah. They'd stop every now and again and... Uh, uh, like you'd have to load up wood onto the engine. Yes. Yeah. No, they didn't have coal. Did you um, did you see any of the Japanese sick when they were being evacuated back into Thailand? Not the Japs, no. 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 Mm. But did you see any of our guys that were being downloaded to back to say Tucker Noon and no, I, I didn't. I mm. didn't. I'm not saying that they mm. didn't. Uh, right. But uh, every time they were doing a bridge and mm. it was done up nice, ready for the uh, train to go over, the Yankees come and bomb it. Mm. And then we'd get punished. Mm. And that, because everything had to be the Yanks. Not that, well, they, they only be British or Yanks, and I'd say they'd be the Yank. Mm. And then we heard them there one night, oh, they were bombing Bangkok. And they were bombing it. And we said, oh, isn't that lovely? So the next day we were told rations are cut because mm. the Yanks had bombed the, the food mm. and now less for us. Well, we was getting that much less now, I was a little bit more. Mm. Couldn't get much more because we'd have nothing. Yes. But uh, yes. Yeah. And then our planes come over bombing us too. Yes. Oh yes. We in one camp where they come down low, and uh, uh, they only machine gunned us. Didn't bomb us. Thank good. That'd have been that low. But we, we'd have had it. Mm. And uh, I remember there was a slit trench near it, and the Japs were running for it. So I thought, well, I'll go too. So I raced in and they said, no, 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 you get out, no, 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 for prisoners. And I stopped there, I said, you have plenty of room for the others to come in. And then another time I was standing behind a tree and they came over and I couldn't get into the tree because they were machine gunning. Mm. Those five millimetre big bullets. Mm. Yeah, that was it. And one chap got uh, killed. Mm. And... Uh, when they put him on the stretcher, and I didn't see it, that I had to take the stretcher up to the river to wash it mm. with uh, a sergeant and two officers. And they stood over me with a, with a revolver, making me wash the, mm. the, the thing. Stretcher. And, mm. it, uh, and very bad, and I thought, oh my God, this is it. As soon as I finish washing that, they'll just shoot you. Mm. 
But the war, they hated the Yanks. Mm. So I've got no regrets about the uh, atomic bombs on them. Mm. They, they were the innocent people back home, mm. admittedly, but mm. they, they, what they did to them in Singapore when they took, especially the Chinese, they, yes. now, the only thing I used to always say is they should have dropped ten, ten bombs, not two. Mm. Mm. But probably that's a bit hard. But mm. Well, we'll never know, will we'll we? We'll never no. know, no. I don't want to know. Really. No. No. It's all over now, yeah. thank goodness. Yes. I'll just show, take another little peep at my notes. Now what, I don't know, you may, you may say you don't want to answer this question, but what was the worst thing you saw on the line? Worst sort of thing? The worst thing. Your worst experience. Oh, well I suppose that was one of the worst. Those two I just told you. Yeah. Couldn't get in the sense with yeah. bullets whizzing yes. around you. What, when they were, they were bombing or strafing you, what, what do you think the target was, in fact? Well, the bridge or the camp. Yes. And and and, and I don't know how the Yanks didn't know because that they could see that that there was white people in it, but yes. they they still still bombed it and still machine gunned us. Yes. Yeah. Did you ever see non combatant camp? Does, does that ring a bell? It's a big camp where Colonel Coates was operating towards no, the end of the war no, for no. ten thousand patients. Mm. When you came down from Burma, you obviously you came by train. Mm. Do you remember that big bridge. Wampo bridge that yeah. curves around the cliff face of yeah. the river? We come over it slow because we heard so many stories about it. Mm. Half of it was put, they put white ants in it, yes. and half of it they only had it half tied and yes. good knows what. And here's us going around it, yes. and we thought now everybody's. At least we can jump. Mm. We thought if the if the train goes, but the train probably would have fell on top of us. Yes. But it didn't. Yeah. But it was rickety. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Did you did you see any sign of any of the? There had been quite a number of derailments on the line. Did you ever see? No, any I never saw there? any. No, no, no. no. Mm. Only as I said, when near the bridge, mm. they got the uh, bridge up in Burma, and uh, they got a bit of the railway line. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. It was an experience. Yes, yeah. I wouldn't want to get that. No, I'm no sure. Way. No way. What about, are there some good things that you remember about? Oh, oh yes, there's yes, some good things, I suppose. It's only what you made. Yes. You, yourself, yeah. uh, you and your mates, yes. different things. Now, yeah. it's often said that you, to survive on the line, you had to have a mate. Oh, yeah. But you, you often didn't have a mate because you were working one on one with a Yeah, job. but that working one was one, uh, I was being fed their, their food. Yes. So I, I, that's why I was lucky. Yeah. But when we had to unload the trains and that, mm. well, the things we done, but we got caught. Yes. And then we got punished. Yes. And they have a good punishment. They'd strip you here and they had a bamboo and they sliced it like that. Mm. And they come around whacking you like that. Mm. You, you didn't steal from the nips. You stole from the emperor. Yes. Everything belonged to the emperor. Well, we've seen uh, condensed milk and all that. All our stuff mm. coming up, and that. So we thought we'd help out. But see, we only had a g-string. Mm. But it, when we knew we was going to uh, uh, unload trains, we wore our, tr our shorts. But we give ourselves away. Your pockets are bulging out here, and mm. your sh shirt was out there, and we we copped it. Mm. And mm. but if that would have been the coolies, mm. that would have been the end because you mustn't steal from Nippon mm. Or, mm. or from the emperor. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So things like that. But uh, oh, we had our signs and and thing to give ourselves warning here they're here they're coming or they're go going or something like that mm. but uh, no. Did, did you see any, as part of K-Force when you were supporting the coolies did you see any of the other doctors like uh, Jock Frew? No, um, no, no, I never, I never saw any. Anderson? Um, yes, they, they were up there but in, in uh, different, diff different camps, areas. no they yeah. weren't in my area. Yes. No. Now, you, because you came down by train through Burma and then from the Round Three Pagodas Pass yeah. 
for example, when you went through Three Pagodas Pass, did you actually see the Three Pagodas? No. no. no, no. You would have had to be looking out yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah. They're quite small. Yeah. Uh, but were you able to make an assessment of the difficulty of construction? Was it harder to, to build the railway in Thailand than it was in Burma? In, I'd say it'd be harder in Burma. Harder in Burma? Mm, I think so. Well, why do you say the that? The weather and everything. Yes. Yeah. Because the, the guys who were in Burma were often up there for seven and ten months yeah, longer than the guys yeah, in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't say guys, the POWs, yeah. yes. Oh yes, I'd say Burma. Yeah. Now, you, you'd know the name Rolly Richards, no doubt. I've heard it. And yeah. the doctor who was on the Burma end. Yeah. Now, when the line was joined in October 1943 at Concoita, or mm. as you say, just... Yeah just yeah, north of it, yeah, yeah. Um, he was with the mobile team coming in from Burma laying the line. Mm. You wouldn't have seen, no, I wouldn't have seen, seen them at no, all? No, yeah. no. So you, know, you never witnessed the, the ceremony I either? I never witnessed, no, yeah. and I was lucky. I, I never had to carry sleepers or oh. carry the uh, right. rocks and that down mm. for the line because mm. I was Medic. a medical. Yes. That's where I was lucky there. Yes. Otherwise, I'd have probably wouldn't be here because the, the way they worked them on the line and that, and carrying mm. the sleepers and carrying the rail, yes. yeah. it was uh, it had been hard work, yeah. especially when yeah. we didn't have much food. Yeah. yeah. So now, Arthur, I, from, I was lucky there. From Takri, how did you get back to Australia? Well, we'd come back to uh, Bangkok uh, from our last camp. Oh. We come and uh, we went to the university in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Then they come around and they wanted orderlies to fly home patients. Mm -hmm. And so they come and that and they said, right, we want so many orderlies, planes are going back. Mm -hmm. Now, I think Bill Fitch come back. And they come to, when I was there, I said, no, I don't want to, I don't want to fly back too quick. I said, I'm too skinny and I'm not going home like this. Mm. I said, I'd rather go home by boat. Mm. At least you'll have three weeks to, to eat and build up a bit. Yes. So uh, I didn't fly back. I just went, we flew then from Bangkok down to Singapore, mm -hmm. where we were issued with clothes and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then I think it was a few days in Singapore and we got a, a, a ship. Uh, it was uh, an English ship that carried uh, meat from Argentina to Britain mm -hmm. and we had hammocks to sleep in mm -hmm. and that and it was still a beautiful ship yes. and it was going the right way <laughs> down. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So what ports did you come into? I'd in come back to Perth. Yes. Into Fremantle and yeah. then to Melbourne yeah. and then home. Yeah. You came up by train from, Mel from Melbourne? No, 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 boat, no. Boat all the way around. Boat took us all the yeah. way around yeah. right into Sydney Harbour. So where did they put you when you got into Sydney? Well, when we come into Sydney Harbour, we mm. come under the bridge mm. and all the people were up there waving mm. banners home. But we couldn't see them because we had orders. You had to be ready to do, uh, disembark straight away. Mm. Mm. And uh, the people were in front of us. They might have seen some. Mm. Mm. And, that, and we just had to pick up everything. Then they had all buses waiting there and they took us out to Ingleburn. Yes, a long way out. To, yeah, mm. a long mm. way out. Mm. And then our people mm. were out there to, to, to meet us at Ingleburn. Come home on Melbourne Cup Day. Yes. And the brother said, I've got a horse for you. It, I think it's still running. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was the day we yeah. came home. And we stopped halfway going home to Richmond yeah. and it's time to hear the Melbourne Cup. Yes. Yeah. So we remember that. where was your re reunion uh, was it with your family or when did you catch up with with Roma for I was example? with our family yes. oh, well, I was writing to, to her and yes. to, her, to her parents and yes. that and that you wasn't down there waving me in was you no but my, uh, mum and went, went out to Ingleburn to wasn't it I Ingleburn? went out to Ingleburn yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we yeah. couldn't, we couldn't and see. And I'll tell you a little bit of story how I met Arthur. I was got up to get, you got that on? I okay. Well, I got up in the morning to go to work and mum, mum said to me, you're not wearing that dress, are you? And I said, yes. 